Hey, this is Adam Huxema, and I'm the co-founder of Projection Hub. And uh, today I want to walk you through our uh, trucking financial projection template. Um, specifically, we're going to show an example of a projection for a trucking company with, with just one uh, truck and show you what the uh, potential revenue, uh, profitability, and cash flow could look like for uh, a single truck uh, trucking company. So when you first come into the template here, you're going to see a few different things. Um, first of all, you can uh, enter in the name of your company, a start date, uh, and an inflation rate for your operating expenses. This would be how much you expect the inflation to go up each year. You also notice here the accounts receivable terms. So we're going to assume that 100% uh, of your customers pay you uh, 30 days after you provide the delivery or service. That's pretty standard in the trucking industry. Most of the time you're not going to get paid um, at, when you make the delivery. Um, and then also here we're going to have the ability for you to put in a personal investment. Often um, you're, you're going to need to put in some of your own money into, into the business. Now down here um, you'll see a bunch of different slots. Um, so you have the ability to grow here. You have the ability to add buildings and tools and lifts and multiple trucks and different equipment. Um, again, in this example, we're just showing one truck. We're saying it has a purchase price of $100,000, a life expectancy of 10 years, and after that 10 years, it'd have a salvage cost of $20,000. We have an amount financed here of $80,000, so we're assuming you're getting a loan uh, at a 8% rate paid over 72 months for the truck. And so that could be where some of your $20,000 personal investment comes in as a down payment uh, for the $100,000 truck. Now we also have down here a $50,000 working capital loan. Um, a lot of times a trucking company is not going to get paid um, uh, by their customers for you know 30 or 45 days after um, making a delivery or providing a service. And so uh, you need working capital to pay your bills and payroll and that sort of thing um, while you wait to get paid. And so that's what this $50,000 loan here is for. Now, based on those assumptions, uh, let me zoom in here. Uh, we have um, our revenue and cost of goods sold assumptions here. So we, again, we're just assuming uh, one truck. So I've just put one here in every cell. One thing I should mention is that every cell that is highlighted in blue is, a, is an assumption or a cell that you can easily change without breaking anything in the template. Um, but we're doing an example for just a single truck uh, here. So we've got one truck driver and we're assuming um, that you could get a dedicated route uh, of 550 miles per day or um, kind of a, a spot freight um, of 600 miles per day. We are assuming that you drive five days a week. And so we're going to, in this example, let's assume we've got 550 miles per day is, is what you're driving um, with an average revenue per mile uh, of $3. So, you know, again, this may differ a lot depending on the particular route, where you're located, um, lots of different things, whether it's a specialized type of, of route or freight um, that, you're, that you're driving. Uh, so, but that's what we're putting in here is a, a, this example. We have zero in here for the driver pay because we're assuming this is a owner-operated um, truck and that you will be You'll be the owner and operator or driver of the truck. We have variable expenses, so a number of different variable costs that are kind of a per mile, calculated as a per mile cost, uh, that all add up to $1.50. Now these, again, you'll need to look at and make sure that these make sense for um, your particular area. Uh, fuel rates are different in different areas, um, different states or countries even. Um, and, and, you know, inflation could play a role in this as well. And so um, just make sure that this, that these actually still make sense for your specific situation. Now, based on that, uh, we are going to get 
a projected dedicated route revenue of 35000 per month and a cost of revenue or cost of goods sold of $17,924 right here. Here's the um, spot freight section. And in this example, we're saying there's no, we're, we're assuming that you're not driving any spot freight. You're just doing the dedicated route. And so that's your total revenue. And now you'll also have some uh, operating expenses that are more fixed operating expenses they're the same each month uh, and we've put in some default expenses here for you um, can zoom in here a little bit for you um, so different types of insurance advertising license plates permits uh, parking expenses facility rent or um, you may have you may rent a lot to store the truck um, or a facility perhaps uh, and so you can put all those uh, operating expenses in as well. And our, what we have in here right now, we are assuming a, just under $2,000 a month in kind of fixed operating expenses, whether you drive a single mile or not. And um, you have in the template the ability to add different positions. So as you grow the grow the business, you may add a dispatcher, you may add other drivers, you may add um, uh, repair technicians, that sort of thing, and, uh, and other salaried positions. So you have the ability to add those in into this box, but again, in this example, we're just assuming that um, really you're, um, you're the owner operator, and so um, right now we're not assuming any owner salary. We're just going to say, well, let's see you know, what you can profit here um, and, and take a portion of the profits. So now we come to this at a glance uh, page, which has a number of different charts and tables. And this can be really helpful for you in terms of uh, providing something for a business plan or um, what a, a lender might want to see from you. And so here's a thing that I want to show you, focus on here. Um, so total revenue, based on the numbers that we put in there, total projected revenue for the first year of 434000 and a net income, and now, again, this is without paying yourself or paying any drivers or anything, but a net income of $140,000. Uh, so um, some other things that I want to mention about how this is, this may be, you know, optimistic because if you go back here, uh, I do want to point out that this is assuming that you're doing, you're getting that 550 miles per day uh, for five days every single week of the year. So this is like no downtime, no repairs, no um, no uh, vacation, no bad weather that's keeping you from driving. So you know if you think, hey, that's not really realistic, you could come in here and change this to let's say we average four and a half days per week. If we just jump back to this, you can see that now brings you down to. 390,000, so a little under that $400,000 level that we are looking for. Um, still, still a nice profit. Now, I want to point one other thing out here um, that's really important. So, profits don't necessarily uh, or don't equate to cash flow. So, just because you're profitable doesn't mean that you necessarily have cash. And so, I'm going to show you we've got. We've got these income statement summaries, and these are your, your financial statements um, that you can provide to your um, potential lender um, if you're trying to get a get a loan um, or a potential investor. But um, and then this is an annual cash flow summary, an annual balance sheet summary, and then we've got what I really want to show you here is this is a monthly cash flow statement. So we're showing right here, so it says cash at the beginning of period is $50,000. So we're assuming you're starting out with $50,000. Now in that first month, you're going to have all of these expenses for operating the truck, uh, but you're not going to have any cash in the door yet because um, your customers probably aren't going to pay you for 30 or 45 days, right? And so in that first month, this is without paying yourself a dime, you're already you're going to have a negative fourteen thousand five hundred and eighty six dollars out the door. Uh, so it's really important uh, that you have cash 
available, working capital setting aside when you start the business because you're going to need that. You know, this doesn't, you know, have anything to do with like what happens if you have a big, um, a big repair that pops up, um, could really kind of mess with your cash flow on a monthly basis. So your cash flow, like in this, in this projection is very steady every single month. And in reality, you know, things are going to happen, right? Um, repairs and, and issues are going to happen. So this will probably be more choppy. Um, but hopefully over the, over the course of the long haul, um, you're going to, uh, be profitable and cash flow positive. You just need to make sure you have enough of a buffer to be able to survive those those uh, peaks and troughs. So that's that's the really the final thing I wanted to point out. Um, but I think again, this shows um, that a single unit truck um, can be profitable uh, with the right route and you know the ability to, um, to to have some working capital in the bank to be able to cash flow this. So if you have any questions, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out to us uh, at support at projectionhub.com, and we'd be happy to help you. Thanks.